Greetings my fellow loves of tunes and welcome back to another Jeff Castellucci reaction video here on the channel where we enjoy the music of course. Now I'm very happy and I'm very excited because we get to hear another Lord of the Rings songs covered by this amazing bass vocalist called Jeff that we all know and love by now. Now I'm very excited especially for this because I'm such a huge Lord of the Rings fan nerd whatever you want to call it i have seen the movies way too many times the series everything that goes along with the games actually the new series rings of power is actually the season two is on now and it's been absolutely amazing getting a whole new perspective of this whole like fantasy realm that is lord of the rings but in any case regardless i'm very excited because this is one of those songs that i've been wanting jeff to cover like everything that has to do with the dwarves and that like the misty mountains covers and stuff like that that is the perfect f thing for jeff i think he was made for these songs his voice was like made for these sub songs so i'm very excited to see how he's gonna like approach this one what he's gonna do with it all the little easter eggs he's gonna do how he's gonna dress up the wardrobe it's always such a fun experience with him and always worth at least a five times watch depending on how many jeffs there are so uh let's get into this one and then we will discuss it afterwards as always Young, the mountains green, no stain yet on the moon was seen. No words were laid on stream or stone when Durin woke and walked alone. He named the nameless hill. Untasted wells He stooped and looked in mirror mirror And saw a crown of stars appear As gems upon a silver thread Above the shadow of his head Shadow 
Hey y'all, Jeff here. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing. Videos like this would be impossible to make without lovely folks like you clicking that play button a time or two. And of course, all of the lovely people on Patreon. If you'd like to see all of my videos early and plenty of other incredible perks, head on over to Patreon and sign up. You can even sign up for free. Special shout out goes to Halder Draco, Tema Krempley, Juliana Livingston, Diane Holland, Sarah Borzelli, Sarah O, Lori Templeman, Laura Mueller, Patricia Schumann, Debbie Goodling, Jordy S, A.M. Person, Carl and Melanie Thomas, Asa M. Mike Stoll, and Debs Patrick. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all You know what makes this absolutely fantastic? And what makes me smile so much as I'm watching this is the fact that you can really see that Jeff puts everything that he has into these songs. It's so fun to see when someone really loves like a certain universe or fantasy world or anything like that. And you can truly see them go above and beyond to recreate something so special. Go above and beyond with the wardrobe and the themes and the meticulous little details that not a lot of artists do when they cover songs like this. And that is why I love Jeff and what he does with these songs. What an incredible, incredible cover and probably my favorite out of most of these covers of this particular song I've seen. Such a beautiful and sad song as well. And I know that it's not, uh, it, this video is not sponsored by them or anything like that. But if you are a Lord of the Rings fan and you enjoy the original movies, I always tell people then go and watch the Hobbit trilogy because that gives you a little bit more detail or like before what happened before Lord of the Rings, you know, like Bilbo's journey and like some of the dwarfs you've seen in the Halls of Moria when they uh, go there with the fellowship and everything like that. But also now with this series that came out and I know it's a little bit of like here and there, a lot of people love it or they don't because there's some things that has been changed from the books, but the series Rings of Power to me has been absolutely incredible and gives you so much more like insight to what happened and who's who and what happened and like the origins of the rings that the whole lord of the rings movies were created on you know stuff like that so if you haven't seen that go make sure you go and watch that because then this song in particular will make a lot more sense as well with the names like durin and like Khazad doom all those type of things it was incredible to see all these things that we have read and heard on in song come to life in a television show i think it's absolutely incredible but like i said there are a few things that is not i think 100 percent to the books but regardless i enjoyed it. it's very entertaining and i'm probably going to watch the latest episode tonight after these recordings so i'm very excited to see that as well so go and check it out but back to the song itself this was incredible. I love I love the fact that the song started off with Gimli, like entering like the halls of Moria, that the tomb, and yeah, it's always so fun to see. I I forgot his name. Was it like, uh, by Bal Balbi Bal by I? It slipped my mind now. Like the the one from the Hobbits, like the Hobbit movies. You could see like the skeletons, the one holding the book and everything, and then Gimli comes in there, and he's so distraught and stuff like that it's it's so incredible to to see him bring these things to life and have Gimli come in show up in character and start off the song because I might be mistaken but I believe in the books Gimli sang this song if if not if I'm not mistaken or something along the lines of that or I might have heard it somewhere I don't know don't quote me but it's incredible to see the attention to detail he adds with it with the water drip like in the those quiet caverns and like those abandoned halls because of the balrog that took over and like 
the the orcs and goblins and stuff that's in there it's so incredible the attention to detail that he puts into these songs all these little sounds that he adds to it the the above and beyond extra mile that he goes with the wardrobes like just seeing him portray the different dwarves the different beard styles it is absolutely phenomenal to see and i love the set as well it really looked absolutely incredible his voice in this was truly fantastic i think he really captured the the sort of sorrow and like sadness of the song and truly created such a respectful cover of this beautiful song i often wonder um if tolkien would be able to see this or hear this what he what he would what he would think you know i think it would be very interesting to see that his work has come so far and people has done so many covers of it and stuff like that but it's always beautiful when jeff does something he does it so well and it's so much fun to watch like i i'm 100 percent serious when i say his videos are truly those type of videos that you watch not once not twice not four times but at least five times because in each video you can like take a gander at the other jeff see what he does just keep an eye on him for that whole video and you will discover something new it's like having an easter egg hunt when you watch these videos but this was truly beautiful i think he did a phenomenal job those low notes were absolutely beautiful and it really like resonates with that under underground like deep in the mountains that sort of basin is but also that that sorrow like he to me at least he really captured the sorrow of the song and like the beauty of beauty of it so well but that's just me i i truly love this universe and everything that goes along with it i don't think there is a song that came out of the lord of the rings like world that i am not in love with that all are beautiful and everything is so beautiful and especially when you have an artist like jeff cover it it's always going to be absolutely fantastic but i would love to hear from you guys what do you think about this cover do you think he did it justice did you enjoy it do you understand or do you know what it is all about and i'm serious about it if you if you really are interested to know a little bit more and you haven't seen it go and watch that series it it isn't too bad and it's very interesting to see see the origins of some things that we have grown to know and love from the original trilogy movie series at least especially if you're not a reader i'm not a big on reading myself so it definitely helps me out a bit but luckily i have games and stuff like that to help me out as well but make sure you go and watch it and let me know what you think about this amazing cover of a song i would love to hear from you guys but i'm gonna leave this one here i hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there Remember to check up on one another and then I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, remember, music is medicine.